Hey guys, welcome to the 3A Podcast. Uh, I'm Jerks, and join today via Discord video chat. Ladies and gentlemen, Gaming Dan. Gaming Dan, say hi. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up? <laughs> uh, you can find Gaming Dam on YouTube.com forward slash Gaming Dam. Of course, he's also a Twitch streamer, twitch.tv forward slash Gaming Damned. Um, this week, of course, uh, Thanksgiving was just last week, so we we're doing this a little bit different today. There wasn't going to be an episode today, but I decided last minute, I'm like, you know what, let's do something. I have an opportunity to talk to somebody who I think is really interesting and. He's also been through some stuff and, you know, not not war or anything, but he's been through some stuff. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to talk about uh, – we'll try to get all three subjects in there, you know, gaming, sports, and pop culture, but we'll see how it goes. Um, all right, dude. We were just talking about – we just did the Hum Day show. We were just talking about how Take-Two is, like, coming after him for modifying – did you wait? Did you port the game yourself to PC, like Red Dead Redemption One, or did you? Or was that already done prior? Uh, I'm, I'm I'm a little confused on that part. Well, unofficially, unofficially. it's <laughs> it, it's uh, being emulated, mm -hmm. but it's very like it's legal, and I I actually let people know that they actually have obviously have to own the game, right, <laughs> and then right, um right right. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's legal to the T on there, and okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to get you in trouble. So if you don't want to answer something, that's fine. I mean, I don't know all the legal, you know, all that fun stuff about it, but it's just a little bit like, like, oh, okay, okay, like, like, damn, I'm speaking to the mastermind over here, but I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, that's all right, man. Well, I'll make me sign an NDA and I'll just shut the hell up. All right, but um, all right. So uh, one of the other things you were you mentioned was your YouTube channel. You said you can't you can uh monetize anymore even though you're like a what 6. Point something k? Like you're at no. Yeah, yeah, you're at 6.27k. Um why are you not being able to monetize and were you able to monetize in the beginning? Well, earlier in my um my YouTube stuff, I mean, I wasn't really making much of anything and it's just yeah. like um I would say like when I it was like when i first started streaming yeah. which was on youtube and then i transitioned over to the twitch i think around that time is like when i got partnered like i actually got the i grinded to get that uh whatever on there that the thing and then i got it then uh i think it was like months later that they they did that thing where they uh you know they made it a little bit harder for everybody right. so you had to do uh the uh whatever like hours whatever yeah the hours viewed like, yeah the in total four thousand hours yeah, yeah yeah so i i did that and then uh around like i think in like in 2018 i don't know or 2000 yeah i think it's 2018 or or, or early this year i don't even remember uh a pack self it really fucks me up a little bit so to the point where i was like like I, I can't remember when exactly. I know it was a roughly around that area. They had stripped it. Uh, there were some people who were, um, I guess they were like false flagging. I, I, and I, I do remember specifically on here. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why I found out, it says for harmful con uh, content. And anybody that goes on my channel, where the fuck is that harmful content at? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've seen it. I mean, the harmful content. Oh, no, this guy is doing a scooter review. Oh, no, the humanity. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my yeah, God. like it's crazy. But, yeah. you know, but yeah, that's that's the reason why I can't really make anything on YouTube. Uh, now, regardless, now mm -hmm. I've had I've already surpassed that watch time thing yeah. however now youtube likes to work like it slows molasses on there <laughs> regardless i already passed like past that they they have to verify the watch time and all that but yeah. but but it takes it takes like a long period of time yeah and so it, it, it kind of hurts me because you know i wanted i want to like push for a like much higher quality content but why push higher quality content when you're not going to make that money back. You see, you can't just like, right. you know, so I'm kind of like being very careful and that's why I'm not really uploading as much on there. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I am going to upload some content soon with right. like doing some benchmarks, uh, doing a, a little bit of 
reviews on a lot. Uh, there's a lot of products that I've, I've had, like my Sony cameras and other studio equipment that I, I want to do some reviews on that. I, oh, there's yeah. a lot of videos that's been like pushed back. I'm not going to go and spend that time of filming, editing, and doing all that because that stuff takes a lot of time. Right. Uh, no point of pushing out videos like that. Uh, that's going to be a waste of time, you know? You know, sure, it may, it may get the views, mm -hmm. but that's not as, as important because then, you know, you know, I don't want to, like, I, I get that people love to watch, you know, these type of videos from me. No, right. However, if I can't make anything back to, to do even more content. It hurts you more than it hurts you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it I get you. Uh, I was going to ask you, uh, when did you start your YouTube channel? uh oh wait i think yeah 2008 holy crap wow. i've had videos but i have to delete some of them on there right and to the point where you are now with in, in terms of uh, subscribe uh subscribers like how long did it take you to do that and what were you doing were you just uh putting out videos for like your mods or you were doing vlogs what were you doing um asking for a friend because i'm trying to grow this channel too <laughs> <laughs> uh, um <laughs> <sighs> I guess like um, basically this, you know, I, I did some mod videos and mm -hmm. other things. Like I've gotten popular over the GTA scene. I've I've transitioned over like at least one other like username of D eight seven five J. But mm -hmm. I've there was there was a little bit of controversy, so I I changed it on air. There's a lot of misinformation uh, and uh, communication. I would say, you know, like I started off with doing a lot of mod videos and okay. that's how, that's how, you know, you do it. But I did, I did post some other videos on there and, as well. And you said you, you streamed on YouTube. Why'd you switch from YouTube to uh, Twitch? Well, <clears throat> here's the thing. Like I was getting like rated like left and right on there. The viewership was great and whatnot. I've, I think like during the time that I first started streaming mm -hmm. on there, I, I, I remember this guy's name like specifically Andrew Bish Bish something one like uh <laughs> B, B, it, it was it, 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 <laughs> B A W something whatever Bosh Bosh I, I I can't pronounce it but I I remember that vividly I've made with him he's donated <laughs> over like in his currency over like three hundred but then YouTube screws over creator so i got like 200 or whatever something dollars right a few whatever i i mean I, I made a little bit here and there mm -hmm. uh it was, it was pretty good and then i moved over to twitch because well why don't you want to move to there it's, it's more of a solid foundation right, right. I, I like it much more i um, mean youtube is great and i did have a little bit more higher viewership my my uh my one of my successful streams were streaming uh Friday the thirteenth. Like I, I've grinded like that was like like the peak po uh thing and then I got screwed over by um a few like streamers and whatnot. Um Wait, what? but I mean I, I I got yeah it was a few times I got I got screwed over. How'd you get screwed over by other streamers? Um they they like they got jealous because I was growing a lot quicker than them. Okay. On there and yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. It, it was it was a, quite a few, but I mean, but I, I see now it seems to taper off and level, and I think mm -hmm. I think the order is being restored, or like restored now. Mm -hmm. So I haven't I really had that issue. Mm -hmm. Um, but but yeah, like it, it's been a rough start, but you know, it's that's to be expected, you know. Um, you said that you transitioned to GTA, like doing some mods on there. Are you still doing mods for that, or are you are you trying to now like concentrate on Red Dead Redemption Two? I mean, it's not like I'm not open to it, but yeah. right now, just uh, I got tired of it because I've I've actually played um, I played GTA Five on the Xbox and PS3, mm -hmm. and then those days I I had both like two modified systems okay. on there. And I've, I've I did it. I I played through it. And then I did uh, I I I didn't get next gen until like you know whatever. Uh, I played on PC. Um, I just got tired of it. A lot a lot a lot of people just don't understand. Like, you know, I would I would be playing it, but you know, mm -hmm. it is what it is. 
And then I remember at some point uh, I did live stream GTA 5 during that almost like when I you know moved over to Twitch. I I, mm -hmm. I did it for a while, but then I just still got tired of it. But I mean, I, I love it and whatnot. But I, I think you know Red Dead and other games are a little bit more interesting right now. You know. So I mean, just let's just say that it's a little bit of a refreshing take versus the constant GTA 5 just gameplay i mean i get like that too I, what i'm saying is like you got to take a break from something you've been doing for so long like i've kind of been there I don't, I don't know if it's like that for you but it's kind of getting there for me like with streaming cod like the new modern warfare dude i've been trying to find something else to play because that shit is so fucking like oh my god <laughs> like it's oh, fun yeah. but oh my god do i get toxic <laughs> oh yeah. my god but uh, what was I gonna ask you? The other thing you said you mentioned was this rogue person. Who is that? Give me the, spill the tea. Spill the tea. <laughs> well, okay. So now I'm not gonna say like like yeah. There's some things I've I've like um okay. So to address like I I I don't want to say anything is to piss off this this dude. Yeah. Um, I mean, no, no offense to to Rogue. I know you're watching anything that has my name in it. I know you're watching. Um, I know we we you know hash it out. You know, I I think we kind of got a common ground, but I still believe you know because the other day, um, I had you know, I mean, to him, he's saying he's not cyberbullying, but mm. to be honest, he is. I mean, you I mean you're gonna call somebody, you know, whatever. And then doing this and that. Um, he, I was on his live stream, like, I think it was like a couple days ago. And um, he, I guess, like, he got upset that I was doing it. And I had a legitimate reason. And I, I still, till this day, believe that, you know, if you're going to do that, you know, it's this and that. And sure, if I've, I've, I've maybe done things in the past, mm -hmm. but you can't just go and do something like that and you know whatever um so uh there was this person called uh zz cool and whatnot and um and i now a lot of people don't understand this and he didn't uh, believe me but lo long story short that he had said that like he said some horrible things he's mm -hmm. acted like a horrible person he's done this and you know i did tell him something horrible on there um but you know <clears throat> sometimes when you say things like i actually you know had a reason to because this person has been acting like some like very evil person some people uh, like know him as being like depressing and whatnot but yeah. trust me this like when i when i said some things i actually like there was legitimate reasons to Okay. You know, so sometimes, you know, sure, you know, you say, you know, things that you shouldn't be saying. However, when you're acting like a uh, a complete like like a psycho like that, mm -hmm. like a lot of people don't understand who he is. And I known him for for like years and like the modding community. And yes, I did charge him for some mods, but he did request on there. I did not. And he's like making like like lies now, saying that, oh, I I, I sold him, you know, other people's money, but that's not true. He requested a um. I remember this vividly. He's saying that a, you sold him other people's money. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay I'm sorry. So 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 uh, I had uh did a, a Assassin's screen um map port to gta 4 mm -hmm. um and also there was another mod that i had did for him uh was uh, north yankton from gta 5 mm -hmm. into uh to 4 on there um and this was when before way before it was not even on pc it was just converted from the xbox 360 version mm -hmm. and um <clears throat> now the only thing that I would maybe consider was that particular mod, but I was giving it to me and I had like did some like fixes and some polishes and whatnot. Uh it was from a guy called uh Jestic on there. Um but he gave me the permission to mm -hmm. and you know I don't know if it was just a setup or whatnot, but I you know I actually did 
you know do stuff he wanted to, and he wanted this this project. And I had did some re uh, re editions to to myself. Like I I updated the textures. I did a lot of other things, mm -hmm. and um I gave it to him. But uh, you know I guess that wasn't enough. Uh, I did I did um. I, I like it like this dude like willingly I, I said you know if you, you know, like his he's the type of dude who is like rich and he wants to like pay people for content and whatnot oh, okay I see. And, yeah so he he that's what what he did um <clears throat> and then another thing that rogue was uh was saying is that um that i had been lying and uh deceptive people and whatnot which is not true mm. about like how like I mean, like my patreon I, I, I like my my last video <clears throat> i may have talked a little bit too much about patreon but there was a lot of a lot of um versions i left in that i, I may should have took out mm -hmm. on there but i was just like like blazed out of my mind like i was just stumped like i i just want to get this shit out yeah. you have to understand this is the time where these new lores were just like pushed in here i wanted to push out the video I, you know, I may for like, I should have taken them out. Who cares? You know, sure. Maybe there's like, like six or eight times I said Patreon, but who gives a shit? You know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah. uh, it, it happens. Every YouTuber does it, you know? Mm -hmm. But anyways, um, I was talking about that and then, you know, um, mm. <clears throat> and then he like, like there's this, uh, ZZ cool guy made false claims to saying that, Oh, you know, he was doing like, you know, like getting people's credit cards and this and that. And like, I I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that smart to, to do that shit. Like, I, I, pro I, I promise you. <laughs> oh, uh, shit, uh, and that's just... I'm going to check my wallet really quick. <clears throat> okay, we're good. If I did, I, I'd probably be in prison right now. I, I, pro no, I yeah, yeah, promise yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. I promise you on that. Then let me ask you something. I mean, all the things you're telling me, it seems that oh, I didn't even know there was type of issues like this in the modern community. But I, I mean, honestly, it shouldn't be surprising. These type of issues are in any type of community. I mean, be it somebody who's jealous, be it somebody who believes they're being undercut for something or whatever. But I was going to ask you, why not? Why not just work in the industry? Why not work on building a game? Why not just do it that way instead of this way? I mean, I could, but mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm asking because I believe you can. The thing about that is is that it it takes a lot more like time mm -hmm. to do it, and it's just it's in reality it's not really worth it because you're on a crunch time and. You know, it, it, with modding, it's it's a little bit more laid back, and you actually get to talk with the uh, the fans and mm -hmm. you know and have more time on there. So mm -hmm. I feel like modding could be a little bit more easier thing. And I used to do freelancing, and uh, to be honest, as much as I like to do the three D modeling and textures and whatnot, I just really wasn't really productive as much. Like it, it was more of a uh, crunch time i i did it for a few times i just didn't really like it and mm -hmm. modding i just always just always keep coming back to that you know but isn't it like a better or a more secure quote-unquote job like wouldn't you what is it isn't it more likely you're gonna be you being paid for that versus being paid for the mods well the thing is is that being like like an artist in in that industry mm -hmm. is a lot of like endless hours and nights Mm -hmm. And one and a lot of these uh like uh I guess you call them like clients mm -hmm. uh they 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 want in the Pacific time now yeah, the they don't say that they want it so snappy but they really do oh, and a lot of them like does, right a, a lot of them want it, uh, like done a certain amount of time and it's not it's not good you know I would mm -hmm. you know rather you Take know time on it. yeah okay oh man. Well, I don't know. Actually, I, man, I wish, honestly, when I was in high school, I was like, man, I must do coding. I'm going to build my own game. I think every video gamer, anybody growing up was like that in the beginning. And then I went into this one class that had coding in it, and it pretty, we pretty much had to build our own little Flash website. Oh, my God. I was like, I don't know about this, cheap. Like, this is a little <laughs> bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. And then my friend, like, one of my friends, too, he's like, 
he's like, man, he's like, we should do some coding. We should build some uh, mobile apps. They're super, they're super easy, super, they're super easy to get into and make and make some uh, revenue off of, you know. And I'm like, all right. I was like, all right, whatever. You know, I kind of, I'm kind of into like that kind of stuff. I was like, all right, but I need to learn coding. He's like, it's fine. This is an app called Coding Academy. <laughs> you just start there and then we can move on from there. I haven't even opened the app, bro. It's still, <laughs> I downloaded the app. I've never opened it. I was like, oh my God. So what I'm trying to say is that, yeah, like I kind of understand what you're saying too, because like you, you're able to do something that you want to do but not at not at like the high speed pace that it, like pretty much somebody who's paying you is going to want you to do it at i mean that's why yeah. I, that's why when i when i got my emotes for my twitch channel my first two were for my friend who took like maybe a week week and a half to turn that around but then like you know once the channel started growing and kind of like i guess the quote unquote demand for the emotes started coming in i'm like well i'm a, i'm going to commission my friend again but again it's like now it's like, hey, I'm a little bit busy, but I can't do it right now. I'll do it tomorrow. Or, hey, I haven't even started on it. I've been, you know, going through some stuff. So then I understand it. And then I went to Fiverr, got it done within a day. And, like, so I get you, man. I, I understand what you're saying. But yeah. I don't know. Let's let's say, hold on. We're supposed to do sports right now. You know anything about sports? Because I sure don't. <laughs> uh Go ahead. I know you, Tell me everything you I know, know about sports. I know there's one that you actually go and put in the in a basket. And I know one and another one you uh, kick and put into a goal. You know. All right, that's been sports talk with the uh, gaming damn jerks. <laughs> Moving on. I guess we we'll talk about that first one being gaming and then sports and pop culture. What, what do we know about pop culture? Watch anime, man. Tell us about uh, gaming besides gaming. <laughs> uh, I do watch. Like I, I started watching uh, uh -oh. what the fuck did she do? <laughs> uh oh. Uh anyways. Who's that? One of the uh, murders from two take two. I wish. <laughs> FBI <laughs> shot right up. <laughs> <laughs> no, um I wanna like I, I started uh watching uh the new season of uh Rick and Morty. Oh, is that out already? Mm-hmm. Oh man. You know what, man? <sighs> I'll talk about this on stream too. I, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think I'm high cued enough for Rick and Morty. Like I try watching it. It has its moments, but oh man, I don't think it's that good. That's all right, but I, I, I think you should. Like it's, I, I think it gets that, really good. That whole pickle Rick thing got so overblown. I was like, what's so hilarious about it? The whole, uh, what was it? The fucking McDonald's sauce? What was it called? Fucking Szechuan Shish sauce? Whatever it was. Yeah. Like, yeah, I yeah, thought that shit was overblown too. I was like, come on, man. It's, it's, it's ha ha, but it's not hilarious. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Nah. Well, what else do you watch, man? What, I mean, what do you do? Uh, do you game anything else? I mean, uh, well, like I said, what does gaming do besides gaming? Uh, like I, I like, I like to watch like a lot of, uh, like sci-fi stuff and mm -hmm. like I like I li like to watch a YouTube series uh called Impulse on there. It's uh it's really nice. Um it's about like teleportation and whatnot and Ooh. I like to watch a lot of uh, you wait, know like wait oh you know what I have to look this up. What's it called? Impulse? Yeah. Impulse. Is that oh my god. Is that what's his name? Uh no, no, not 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 the, not the uh, Logan Paul one. No, that's the Logan Paul. Oh, impulsive, impulsive. <laughs> oh my God, this is what you like to watch. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Actually, you know what? Now that we're talking about YouTube, that just reminded me of something else. The state of YouTube, like, there's been so many changes recently, especially with the whole like children YouTube channels and how like parents these these parents are basically advertising to kids. Uh, using their kids, and you yeah. say, and you you were telling me that they what demonetize you, demonetize your channel, I believe. And mm -hmm. I mean, from 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 what it is now, are you are you gonna be changing your content in any way, shape, or form? Because I hear a lot too, like having the f word, aka fuck, aka any type mm -hmm. of cursing, kind of like hits that, like the little 
uh, what's it called? Oh, I can't pronounce this word. Algorithm, algorithm bot they have. Yep. Like, yep. like it'll flag it and be like, yeah, you know what? Don't, don't, don't well, uh, advertise this guy over here. Well, the bitches, I'll tell you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. We're well, not even close to being monetized. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, basically, um, they're reversing that because, mm -hmm. well, their bread and butter it didn't work for them, so now they want edgy content, content back. So what they're they're doing is, I don't know, they said they're gonna do this, like that whole demonetization thing is gonna go away. Mm -hmm. uh, they're gonna find like uh, advertisers that want edgy uh, oh, things. Okay, but but uh, it, it's just it it, sh the, it should be still be good. Um, you just won't have the uh, possibility of having the edgy and the non-edgy, mm -hmm. and then combining to make it more. I, I mean, I don't even think that's even possible to do that anymore, like it, it was before. Yeah. Um, however, uh, you know, it's it's still good for us that that you know we don't have to suck up to uh, little kids, and you know. Whoa! <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to rephrase that real quick. <laughs> Jesus yeah, well, well, we, we don't, we don't, we're not, we're not Disney, you know, we're, we're um, obviously far, not Disney. Far from it. Yeah. Oh, man, but speaking of Disney, segue, hey, we were just talking about this, I was like, hey, do you watch The Mandalorian? Because I want to talk about The Mandalorian, but now that you're telling me that you did it, I was like, fuck, I don't want to ruin it for him, but I do want to talk about it, but I don't want to ruin it for you, so go ahead and close your eyes, don't close your ears, and let me talk about it, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, um, no, we'll probably talk about that next week with the other guys. I, I know they watch it. Uh, we probably have to do reviews of episode four and five to, uh, next week, which is fine. Uh, from my understanding, too, is that they're they're going to be releasing all the episodes. They release them every Friday, but then they're also going to release the last episode like a day before um, Rise of Skywalker, um, which I'm actually going to go watch. Are you going to go watch that? I might. I mean, I don't see why not, you know? <laughs> what? I don't know, man. Nowadays, everything's so polarizing. It's like you do or you don't. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if if I have enough time, there's 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 just not enough time in in the day, and plus, <laughs> the human body doesn't even, like oh, when you put too much stress on the human body. There's just pretty much nothing you could do. You too know, much stress. Jesus, what are you doing? Uh, I just have a lot. <laughs> I have a hard time sleeping sometimes, but yeah. Uh, is that what you did at that 24 hour stream a couple of days ago? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Oh my God. You're crazy. I don't know how you did it. I it literally, I almost died just trying to do fucking 12 hours. Well, the sad thing is I didn't really make anything on that stream except for like almost $2 in ads. Oh, it wasn't yeah. really worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget that we can run ads now like at the failure level. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my god. I think in total, uh oh man, it's so funny to bring that up too. I think in total I've been looking at my my stats at like in terms of how much I've been making with the ads. I think I'm only like at three dollars since they started that. And it's been like two months. <laughs> well, that's that's, uh, cut. that's pretty low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't really run the ads. I mean, I do. I, I, I've been trying to be more conscious about it. Like, like, well, first of all, I need to take fucking breaks. Like, like, I'm sitting there for two hours. I'm like, fuck, I haven't taken a break. I need to take a break. I need to go pee. I need to go stand up, stretch my legs, breathe. And like, I haven't been doing it. I mean, I need to. I need to set like some kind of timer on my end, so I can well, remember to do. Somebody that. told me that they I shouldn't like because I didn't know like, um, the other other day when I was doing that stream, I was. I I let the option just to max out the whole entire thing, and some people saying that it was, it was playing like nine ads. So I'm like, oh, oh shit. yeah, uh, oh man, I don't know if I'm like I'm an asshole for damn. How many cats do you have? Holy crap! <laughs> I, thought you, I only saw that one before. Oh, that one looks really shiny. <laughs> Is it glow in the dark? What the fuck? <laughs> damn, Anyways, no, okay, I'm gonna call you out on this because. It pisses me off. I'm a subscriber. Why am I looking at ads when I'm coming onto your channel? Why? Is there a way for you to like, n like, make that not do that? No, that's on your end. <laughs> don't, don't make it seem like it's my fault. <laughs> no, but like, I don't, I don't know how to like make it where you don't watch it. You know, I like, mean, I, I have my ads to run. But the subscribers will not see the ads. It's only people who are non subbed. But yeah, for me, like I went, mm. I, went I, I hopped on your channel one time. 
I'm like, wait a minute, why the hell am I seeing an ad for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order? Am I not subscribed to this dude? I literally even checked my PayPal. I checked everything. I was like, wait, am I or am I not? And I was like, oh shit, I am. Bastard. I don't even. How would how would you uh, how would you oh, like? I, don't know. I forgot. We're, we're, I, I don't know. I just go through the settings. <laughs> I don't know. I have huh. no clue. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to do it on here. Ah, it's huh. all good, man. You know, make money going. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, it's all good. Uh I did get hit today with somebody's Patreon though. <laughs> I was like, wait, what the <laughs> hell? Where's this? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, man. You gotta support your local artists. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man. No, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we can wrap it up right here. Is there anything you want to you want to say? You want to talk about? You want to promote anything at all? I mean, not really, not really much. Um, I mean, other than you know, just uh. Tune into the streams. I'll uh, be more active there and still be active on YouTube, but more active on Twitch, you know? Twitch.tv forward slash gaming damned. All right. Well, I guess we're going to call that a show. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Uh, again, this is a, a, a regular podcast. We'll come back next week with the, with, with the other guys if they make it. <laughs> but today, I, I literally just took the opportunity and took the took I took advantage of him. I was like, you know what? While I have gaming, let's do everything. Let's just let's see where it goes. But uh, gaming. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Mm, dying. Seriously, though, thank you so much for hopping on and helping me out with this. I really do appreciate that, man. <laughs> the show. The show. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, our main podcast, you can listen to it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, any and all the uh, podcast platforms. You can listen to it there. Thank you to Anchor for that. Anchor provides it for free. If you guys are so inclined to want to even do it yourself, check out anchor.com, I believe, or FM. I don't know, one of those. Just Google Anchor. You'll see. Um, main podcast, of course, it's on here, always on YouTube. Uh, and, of course, our hump day shows are every Wednesday on only on YouTube. Uh, in that episode, we actually uh, go a little bit in depth with the whole situation with Take Two versus Gaming Dan over here. Um, but yeah, no, uh, thank you again. Like seriously, dude, I really do appreciate you coming by and helping me out with this. Like, I mean, we were, we've been talking about like recording something for a while now, and uh, for sure, like I didn't want to hold you out. I didn't want you to think like, I'm bullshitting. Like, thank you. <laughs> I really do appreciate it, man. <laughs> oh yeah, man. I just uh hopefully you know maybe, maybe we can do something like this again you know yeah i'm down to do anything else man we, we we can work something out like for sure uh but yeah guys you can check out gaming damn he has a youtube channel gaming damned and of course you could catch him on twitch again twitch.tv forward slash gaming damned uh it's just gaming damn right there's no like numbers or extra, extra stuff no <laughs> nope nope all right well it, it'll all be in the description below guys thank you again for watching have a good day Bye bye. Yeah.